The story of the first half was three toes. The toes belong to David Trout, Jim Breach, and Kenny Anderson. Kenny Anderson nursing a sprained toe all week, but trainer Marv Pollins doctored him up. There's a lot of ice, a lot of heat, a lot of uh, tender, loving care. I tell you what, when you're, in a, when you're playing in a big game for a championship, uh, if you go walk out there, you play. So Ken Anderson was able to start the game. That in itself was a big lift for Cincinnati. It was 3-3. The Bengals hoped for three more points here, but an offside penalty against Pittsburgh gave the Bengals four points more than they bargained for. Anderson hit Ike Curtis with just 17 seconds left in the half. 10-3 Bengals scoring right before the half was a big factor in the game's outcome. It took us up, you know, before halftime, and, uh, you know, so we had a little cushion coming out, coming out at halftime. I thought it gave us a lot of momentum. The Bengals capitalized on another break in the third period. Reggie Williams intercepts Mark Malone, and the ball rested on the Pittsburgh 29. Three plays later, Kreider made the margin wider on this 22-yard touchdown pass, 17-3. I got a lot of help. We got a great job up front. They blitzed us, and Danny Ross and Chris Collinsworth made some great downfield blocks, and I just ran with the ball. It was great. Meanwhile, on the defensive front, things were cooking. The Bengals' defense could best be described today as swarming. One reason, Malone was fairly easy to read. He looked at the man he was going to throw to all, all day long. And so for us, it gave us a, a better opportunity to jump on the ball. I thought Wilson Whitley played absolutely the best football game I've ever seen him play. Mike St. Clair came in and did a tremendous job in, in relief of Eddie Edwards. Would Terry Bradshaw have made a difference today? Well, I wish he was in there. He would have held the ball a little longer. I would kind of probably got some sacks. <laughs> <laughs> Pittsburgh played some sound defense of their own, but by the time the fourth period rolled, around Pittsburgh was in need of a big play to give them some momentum they got it when Jack Lambert picked off his Ken Anderson aerial and 12 plays later Malone hit the mark Franco Harris the target 17 10 as butterflies began to infiltrate the stomachs of those at three rivers you must have been nervous when Lambert intercepted that pass because that thing seemed to shift the momentum right in their favor <laughs> if I had been chicken I might have gone tackling myself <laughs> later it was nail biting time again Following a Bengal punt on the next series, Pittsburgh made a serious bid to tie the game. Malone to Swan right here. First down on the Bengals, 33. But then, it was Cincinnati who showed Pittsburgh who's made of steel, shutting down the Steelers on four incompletions. How did it feel when that last pass was thrown incomplete and it was yours? I loved it. I loved it. When that last pass was thrown incomplete, I thought I was going to pass out and faint right there. I tell you. The Bengals beat Pittsburgh 17-10 on their home turf, or shall we say artificial turf, as Forrest Gregg gets the free ride right into a joyous Bengals locker room. Those guys picked me up like a, I felt like a feather in the wind. Man. <laughs> yes, sir. Go ahead. We're there, number one. <laughs> Shoot, ask me anything today. I am so happy, uh, I, I can't describe it. It's one of those great feelings just to be able to come home to Cincinnati and say we're number one champions in the AFC. The Sports Illustrated man. <laughs> I had no jinxes. That's what I was the biggest thing. I knew if we lost this game, everybody would be saying, oh, it was a jinx and, you know, the whole thing. I think I have some mortgage money now, so. <laughs> no, it was great. <laughs> All right, Mouse. Hey, like come on, Pat. Join in the celebration. How does it feel, buddy? And curiously enough, I uh, yearn to discern the championship tendencies I believe I perceive we espouse. <laughs> what? Our team just played great, and, you know, no one gave it to us. Something we earned, we went out and got it ourselves. It feels tremendous. When you've been through, uh, you know, three losing seasons in a row and have taken, a, you know, the team and, and, and me have taken a lot of heat and to come out here and win a, a championship in Pittsburgh is uh, is the best feeling in the world. I'm going to brush my teeth for my mom and everybody let her know that I'm a real brother right now. <laughs> All right. Number one. Well, it feels great. I tell you, it's been a long time. You know, it's been a long time and it feels good. Kenny, you've been with this team 13 years. Would this be the most gratifying season, the most gratifying championship? This is the most gratifying because uh, we beat Pittsburgh no, no. in Pittsburgh. I hand it to the guys and to Forrest and his crew. They did a great job. Man, these guys are elated and they have a right to be because they've certainly earned it. What the Bengals have earned is an 11-4 record, the AFC Central Championship, and home field advantage at least for the first round of the AFC playoffs the weekend of January 2nd. Tickets go on sale December 15th. That's my birthday, but I got my present today. You don't know what a tremendous feeling it is to be part of all this. From Three Rivers Stadium, Bob Hillman, Channel 9 Sports.